So I see one here and I'm throwing the hair jig and shaking it. A lot of times they will suck it up off the bottom. Now that's not the ideal way to fish it. But there he is. And that's a good one. Hey guys. Yo, it's Smallmouth Crush. I wanted to talk about the St. Croix Victory hair jig rod. It's this thing right here. I got a beast on. We're going to try to catch him. That's all coming up. So here's what I love about this rod. I love the fact that it's a 710. The tip is amazing for fighting these fish. I may have to run to the back of the boat here. I apologize. And so I'm just taking my time. I'm letting the rod work. I mean, if he's hooked good, he shouldn't pull off. Now I'm going to try to turn the camera a little bit. Maybe you can see him. Now I got to turn the camera this way so you can see me land them. See all the things I got to do to make a video? And we got them. It's a nice, that's a really nice smallmouth. And it hooked them perfectly. And we're going to talk about my setup. We'll get him back in the water. All right, let's talk about the setup real quick and then I'm going to keep fishing. But I'm really loving this, this rod. This is the Victory VTS 710 MLXF. So it's a medium light, extra fast. It is the perfect rod for throwing a hair jig. I'm using the fighter fly 330 seconds black. I put a little bit of plastic inside here. Uh, it's actually a Z-Man piece of plastic cut out uh, to give it a little bit more weight. Let me throw that bait a little bit further, but it's hidden by the marabou. And so I'm using eight pound fluorocarbon leader and I'm using five pound Cortland braid for my main line. So that's the key to this whole setup. Your, your distance is going to come from having this long rod, having a nice size reel. This is the uh, Shimano Vanford 3000. And then using the lightest braid you can find. In this case, five pound test braid is going to allow you to throw that hair jig as far as you can because that's what's important about throwing the hair jig is getting the distance. And then I'm just slowly rod tip down and I'm just reeling it in. Now that last fish, I could visually see them. So when you're, when you're using this technique, a good pair of polarized sunglasses is key. And you get up shallow, meaning, I mean, really anywhere you can see the bottom and see fish is where you want to be throwing a hair jig. I'm just... Everything from the handle the correct length, the way that rod loads up, the way it casts a hair jig. As far as you want to possibly cast it, you can. I know I have a little unique way of casting a reel. I get that, but it works for me. Typically like to keep my rod tip down and as much as possible, I'm going to use the wind to my advantage. So I want the wind to my back so I can even make a longer cast with that hair jig. I'm going to see if we can get him to bite. There's actually a couple right there. I like it when they fight over the hair. A lot of times they'll do that. Got him. You know, a lot of times when you're, oh, I wish you could see this, there's like three of them following this fish. A lot of times when you're throwing a bottom bait, you want the most sensitive rod out there. You guys know I love those Legend Extremes, but I can feel the bite and feel this bait on the bottom with this Victory rod. You don't need an expensive rod to accomplish some of the things you want to accomplish when you're throwing a finesse presentation like this. How many fish are here? Uh, there's like five of them. 
Now he's not huge, but I'm going to try to flip him in. There we go. Perfect. There he is. Look how nice this rod just does everything. It just... I don't know how I fished hair jigs without this rod in the past. I mean, in the past I used that St. Croix Legend Extreme, the medium light, but I never got the distance nor able to fight a fish this well. He was so good. All right, pick yourself up this victory rod. It's the VTS 710 MLXF for all your hair jig throwing needs. Little swim baits too. It's gonna to work really good with that. A lot of different applications you can use with this. Inline spinners, Shh, we don't talk about that. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this hair jig rod. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the way.